Hey, this is Jeff with United Campus Ministry across the street from Ridgewater College, and I'm going to do one of those frequently asked questions videos. I get asked these questions a lot, and so I'm going to try to answer them in this video, uh, some of the most common ones. The first question is this, uh, what are the ministries out at Ridgewater, uh, the Campus Ministry Center? Well, there are, the easiest way to describe it is uh, the people who run and operate the building are part of a board. It's the Friends Board. They oversee two ministries, and I'm going to cover it from the angle of Wilmer Area United Campus Ministry or United Campus Ministry. Um, I've been the chaplain for United Campus Ministry for uh, seven years now, uh, going into my eighth and uh, we answer to the buildings for the building's usage to the Friends Board. We pay dues to the Friends Board along with LCM. Uh, each ministry pays $800 a month. That helps fund uh, the use of the building, the meals, and things like that. Uh, so that's what we, uh, we do, and that's how that works. So there's two ministries out here. I represent one of them. Uh, the next uh, one, uh, question we get asked is, how are you funded? Well, we are funded uh, with United Campus Ministry from area churches and the generosity of individuals. Uh, we're 100% fundraised. Uh, we are not part of Ridgewater. There's a separation there. Um, and we are not part of any mother organization. There's no national organization that chips in or we, we have a pool from or anything like that. So all of our finances that cover uh, that $800 a month to uh, use this building and then also uh, my salary and any other expenses we might have as a ministry, that comes from donations. So that's why I shoot videos like this and that's why I visit churches and that's why we do a number of the things we do uh, to promote what we promote. Uh, so the generosity of the faith community is what keeps us going and serving this Ridgewater community. So God bless you guys who have supported us. Thank you so much. And we definitely need it moving forward. Uh, I have dreams of what we can do with this building. We might need to repair some things. And we definitely should consider uh, updating or even expanding some things. Uh, because we overflow this place twice a week, some weeks. The next question is, what do we need? Uh, this one gets asked a lot. Well, the first thing we need is prayer. Uh, I can tell you story after story over of what I think is answered prayer. Um, I also can tell you stories about where we need uh, things. So keep praying for us. Uh, ask me questions about uh, where we need more prayer, and I would gladly answer that. We need prayer for finances right now. We need prayer for uh, just direction on what to do with the building and how to maintain it or upgrade it or service it. Uh, it's been used a lot. Uh, the last few years. Uh, we see roughly 10,000 visits a year each of the last two years. Um, that's up, uh, that's doubled from even three years ago, and that's almost a, like it's infinite increase uh, from uh, seven years ago. So thank you for supporting us, and please keep supporting us through prayer, through financial con contributions, and then also just uh, meal support, uh, whether it's making a meal. We just had two entities, an individual and a church, uh, that can't do meals anymore. Um, they've helped us out for years and years and years, but that means there are two monthly openings each month now to fill up. So if you can do a monthly meal, or if uh, you can do just one meal a semester or help out with something, we would appreciate that. And lastly, because we don't have a commercial kitchen, we can't just do dishes in a sink and serve uh, 200 students. We need help with meals uh, in the form of uh, paper plates, disposable plates, uh, plastic spoons and forks and, uh, and disposable bowls. Uh, so if you can donate that, that is helpful to us serving these students. Someday hopefully we'll have a commercial kitchen, but that someday is not here yet. Um, so we have to use disposable items. Lastly, how do you get a hold of me? I'm leaving this last slide with all of my contact info on it. Um, feel free to call, text, email, uh, or just visit any of the other places to see updates about what we're doing out there. Uh, pictures can speak better than what I can sometimes. But 
I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch all the way through this video. Thank you for asking the questions and taking interest in them, uh, in us enough to ask those. Uh, but keep up on your support of this place. Uh, we do some really fun things, and I see God flex his muscle and make a difference in this community all the time. So thank you so much, and God bless.